ISRO on Saturday launched Aditya L1, our first space-based observatory class solar mission. It's going to go to Lagrange Point 1 and uh, study the sun from an unobstructed view. I mean, there is no hard and heavy load uh, camera payload on the Aditya L1. But let me tell you, the pictures and the visuals that the spacecraft is going to see finally from that particular lag range one point is going to be just impeccable. Now that's the latest information, the tweet that has been put out by ISRO on your screens. September 3rd uh, at 1140 hours uh, from the earth towards the sun, the orbit raising maneuver has been completed uh, uh, successfully. This is what you can see on your screens already. Um, to the sun, earth, lag range point L1. And you know, I was reading somewhere here in one of the newspapers that the health of the spacecraft of Aditya L1 is also uh, absolutely fine. It's fit and healthy. Well, there you go. There you have it. Aditya L1 is healthy. Spacecraft's first orbit raising move is successful. This coming out from the Indian Space Research Organization. Solar mission spacecraft's next maneuver will be early on Tuesday. Uh, the observatory class spacecraft is carrying seven payloads. The main objective of the mission is to get a deeper understanding of the sun and how its radiation, heat, flow of particles and magnetic fields affects the earth. Studying the sun from the space ensures that there are no distortions to the measurements that would be experienced on earth due to the atmosphere, magnetic fields and the dust particles. So you are basically going there in the sun. Uh, in, in the space and uh, you know studying the sun from space and it's important because it's the closest star that we have. The next possible star is about uh, 4.5 light, light years away. Proxima Centauri. Uh, and that's about uh, what um, more than a decade in terms of uh, spacecraft. The current growth. thing would take us like maybe three generations to reach that uh, star system. Uh, because 4.5 light years, we don't have the technology even to travel at light year speed to reach there. But this being the closest uh, star that we have, we have been studying its uh, impact on us. And uh, Aditya L1 is one of the first attempts to study, hmm. uh, you hmm. know, the sun from our side, that is from Israel's side. Uh, there have been other nations that have sent uh, probes as well. But uh, it is, the mission seems to be doing well. And uh, I think uh, Kabir, as you rightly pointed out, uh, we will get some really surprising data and also uh, very good pictures itself. The first uh, orbit raising maneuver is successful. But that's what I'm saying, Mark, is mm -hmm. we won't get very good pictures from uh, Aditya L1 because it is there to study the sun. Our objective of sending Aditya over there is not to be bringing back pictures. That's why it doesn't have a heavy load, heavy duty camera payload. No, I'm it. not saying in the sense that from that particular point, uh, there won't be any disturbances as such to study the sun. So there won't be any uh, thing that would affect uh, the picture right. as such, but it would have a great view from there. Now, uh, even as we talk about Aditya L1 and the next maneuver is of course going to be on Tuesday early in the morning.